this is for you guys. This is actually a follow-up from um, a separate video about programming these AudioBox Prestige transmitters. Now take a look at them remotes. See something different about them? This one, you got separate lock and unlock buttons. Lock and unlock. And you got your option there. Here. Looks different. You got lock and unlock together there. Option and option two. Mm. Now that's interesting because these are the same FCC, they're the same remote for the same alarm system. Why do I have these two different styles? What do I do? I'll tell you what you do. When you want to program these, and I'm not going to go into how you program these because I got another video on it. It's called Prestige Transmitter Programming or Audio Box Transmitter Programming. Uh, it's pretty easy to find. Now, when you go in there and you're going to start the programming, when you program channel 1, on this one, you're going to hold that button, the lock and unlock together. When you hit it again, and it's going to look for channel 2, you don't program. Then you go to channel 3, do the middle button there, channel 4, the third button. When you do this one, do it different. You're going to do channel 1 for lock, channel 2 for unlock, channel 3 for option. Now when you cut the key off and you want to test your remotes, the way it should work is that should be locked, that should be unlocked, that there should be your trunk release or remote start, whatever's set up on your channel 3 in your system. Okay? This guy, if you were to program it the same way as I did with this one, that one would be a lock, that would be an unlock, which would be all screwed up because you don't want unlock on option 2. That would just be silly, wouldn't it? And then this one here would, would be your channel 2, which really isn't channel 2 because it's channel 3 on your system. Like this one. I know it seems complicated people, I understand that's why I had to make this video to try to clarify it. So instead of programming it the way I taught you on the other video with separate lock and unlock buttons, you're going to go in there, this one you're going to program channel 1 here, channel 2 you're going to leave blank. The trick is there, leaving it blank. Second middle button there you're going to do for channel 3 and then this one on the bottom channel 4. Okay, so when you do get out and you're starting to use these remotes, this will actually act properly. I know it sounds weird, but it certainly warranted enough of your attention and enough questions from you guys to ask me how to do this, so I went ahead and made this video just for you people that had this problem. This also will apply... This darn phone. This will also apply to if you have like a DEI or a Viper, Automate, uh, Clifford, it works on... Skytech... Pretty much any brand out there, really, that that's that has separate binary buttons and learns by uh, code code learning, such as these do, that same principle will work on all of those brands. Just so you know. So just to go over it real quick again, not to bore you to death. When you have the buttons laid out like this, the way they should be, or I should say, with separate lock and unlocks. Mm. People call it the worst time. All right, channel one, lock, channel two, unlock, channel three is your option. This one, channel one, don't program channel two, channel three, your middle button, channel four, third button, and that's it.